Today I want to tell you about three different reasons why you should practice Qigong instead of Tai Chi. Hi, I'm Jeff Chand, acupuncturist, practitioner of traditional Chinese medicine and Qigong instructor. And in this video I want to give you three reasons why you should practice Qigong instead of Tai Chi. Now I want to just start by saying that I really do like Tai Chi. I practice it myself and I've learned two different routines, uh, two different forms, and I really find it beneficial physically and mentally. But if you are just beginning Tai Chi or Qigong, you might want to consider these three factors as you go on and you might save yourself some time when you're trying to learn one of these two arts. So reason number one I would suggest learning Qigong over Tai Chi is that it's easier to learn. In a matter of hours, you can know enough Qigong to practice for literally years. Qigong, Qigong is very simple. It's not necessarily easy and it gets more complicated as you, as you progress with it, but it's, the movements are very easy to learn. Tai Chi, on the other hand, there are 24, 48, or 108 different movements and they have to be done in, in sequence. So a lot of times when people are trying to do Tai Chi for health, they have a problem remembering which, which movements to do. Are you supposed to step left or right? And it's, it can be frustrating mentally. That's one of the main complaints I've heard about people when, they, when they're trying to learn Tai Chi. If they go to a class, they learn it, they come home and they can't remember a single thing. And this can be very frustrating and not very health promoting, especially for stress relief. So Qigong, once you know a routine, you can easily practice it at home. The second reason to practice Qigong over Tai Chi is that you hardly need any space. If you can stretch your arms around you, that's the, all the space that you need to practice. Tai Chi, on the other hand, there are a lot of steps involved and you need a pretty big space in order, open space, in order to be able to practice effectively. You can sometimes take a step and then back yourself up and then take another step, and, but it's not, just not the way you're supposed to practice Tai Chi. You need, you need that space. So the reason this is important is that I really think that one of the main reasons why Qigong can be effective is if you can practice regularly. So that's why all the routines on Qigong for Vitality are always short because they're practical and it's something that you can do every day no matter where you are. So if you have to have a huge tennis court size space in order to practice your Qigong routine, it's just not practical. You might not be able to do it. But if you can stand up and find a space in the corner of your office or a bedroom, then that's all the space you need. So that's a really good reason to practice Qigong. So the third reason to practice Qigong over Tai Chi is that Tai Chi is originally a martial art. It just happens to be very good for health. The movements are very natural and gentle on all the joints in the body and it happens to be very good for health. But Qigong is built and designed to improve your health. That's the whole reason of doing Qigong is to improve your health. Tai Chi, all, the ultimate goal is to create a self-defense or a martial art. But with Qigong, your focus is just building your energy, reducing your stress, and improving aches and pains in the body, and increasing circulation. So that is the primary focus of Qigong. If your original idea and intent for learning either Tai Chi or Qigong is martial arts, then of course choose Tai Chi. But if you have some particular problem, like stress even, or low energy, or insomnia, or anxiety, or digestive problems, or you're dealing with a degenerative chronic condition that's getting worse over time, then Qigong is going to be able to help you in a much shorter time. Tai Chi will too, but you just have to learn quite a bit before you're a it's able to help your body. So those are three simple reasons why you should practice Qigong over Tai Chi. And again, I like both arts, but this is to help you just try to focus in on one skill. So if you'd like to learn more about Qigong, you can come visit us at qigongforvitality.com and sign up for a newsletter, or you can consider becoming one of our community members where we provide short, easy to practice Qigong routines monthly and some Q&A and other goodies. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.